Hey guys, this is Mohammad Shamir and I'm back with another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can search records in your MS Access database using Java. So stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back guys. Before starting with this video tutorial, I want to tell you guys that I had made three more videos in this playlist before this video that I am making, making now. So in the first video, I have teach you guys how you can connect your MX Access database with your Java program. Uh, by uh, This is the function for that. Okay. And in the second video tutorial, I have teach you guys how you can insert new record in your Java, uh, in your Access database using Java. And this is the function for that. In the third video tutorial, I have teach you guys how you can delete an existing record from your MS Access database. This is the function for that. And in the fourth video, which is uh, this one, I'm going to teach you guys how you can search an existing record from your Access database using Java. And after this video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can update uh, your existing record in your MS Access database. So let's start. So let's start with making a form. Insert form. You can name it anything. Search form, okay? So we have created a form here. Let's add a text field, a button, and a label. Uh, where is the label? Where is the label? Now change the text to user. Add text to nothing. And change and I'm changing the name of the button to uh, search. Okay. So we had make uh, made a form here. Now let's change the uh, variable name of my text field. I will name it new user. Sorry, user search okay so this is the name of my text field so now let's go to the uh, method of the function and give give it some person uh, functionality double click on it so this is the method for button we will code inside it so let's make a string variable called uh, user okay equal to the variable name of our text field because we want to get the text which user enter in this text field, I will user s dot get text. Okay, so now it will get the text which user will enter in this text field and save it in this string variable user. Okay, now let's go to our connection class connection to db and make a function for search there. Okay, so I will make a public boolean type function because we want either uh, that it is present or not boolean search okay we have a search function here with a string parameter user okay let's make a try and catch block inside it i have told the function of try and catch in my last two two videos okay it is used to catch exceptions if there would be any so catch exception e that's out I will print it there with any exception. Okay. Now let's fill the pair block. First, make the connection. Okay. Now we'll make access to the tables of our database using this query statement okay now let's make a string type variable string theory so what's the error here is because of this brackets so asking for a return statement okay we will give you a return statement soon so now let's write the query which is the most important part select star from table 2 where 
uh, now we have to write the name of our field. So what was our field name? We will open our Excel database and see. So here is the ID, so sorry, field name of our required field name. So it was username. Okay. Equal to user next user parameter up here. Okay. And Okay, the mistake. This is the mistake here. Okay. So now you have write the query. Now we will execute the query. For that we need a result type variable, result set type variable rs <coughs> equal to st dot execute query. Okay. So we will execute the query here. Now let's make a while loop to compare it. RS dot next that whenever it is equal to the username that the user entered, so it must it must be true. Okay, so as it is a boolean function, so let's make a boolean type variable boolean uh, status equal to true. Okay. Sorry, false. Okay, now let's complete our while loop. So, we, our while loop should run from the start of our database uh, where there is field name, username until it has data. Now, let's make a variable string user in which all the data which would be coming from our database would be saved. Get a string. We will write the name of our field username. Okay, so all the data coming from <coughs> our username field will be saved in this user variable. Okay. Okay. Now let's make a if if user dot equals we will use dot equals function. If the user dot equals to the parameter that the user entered then the status must be true okay and it should print something on the screen so we should also know that it is there in our database so user found if there would be the same user present, then it would be user found on our output screen. And if not, the status should be false and we want nothing to be printed on our screen. Okay. So now we have, the, as this is a boolean type function, so we have to return something. So we will return, return status. Status okay, return status is giving error. Okay, so now the error is short. Now we will go to our search form, go to our button. Here is the method for button, and we'll make an object of our connection to DB class so that we can call our search function. Okay, so we have created a object here. Now we will call our function and we will send the user defined username to our search function there. So now what it is doing whenever the user enters his username inside this form and press on the search button, it should go and save in the user variable and then go to the search function uh, search method which is in the connection to db class and from here it will uh, compare all the user name from the ms access database to the user defined user and if there would be the same user which both are equal then it would print found 
uh, user found on the output screen and if not then it won't print anything okay so let's run it and see is it working or not so now let's go to our search form and clean and build it now we will run it so let's see that which username we have in our table 2 so we have sherry123 and jerry123 so we will place jerry123 and see what is the result does it found it or not jerry123 now i will press search so you can see here user found it means we have jerry123 in our database now let's give a wrong and uh, username and see that what happens clean and build it and run again So I am giving now Harry123 which is not present in our database. So I will search it. And you can see here that nothing appeared because the user was not in our access database. So I hope you guys understand this video tutorial. If you like it, then like, share, subscribe, comment, please. And if you have any query, you can mail me. I will put my mail in the description. Thank you so much and take care.